Hi friends, we're coming into the Passover season and I want to talk to everyone in our global family about the connection between the crucifixion and resurrection of Yeshua and the holy day of Passover, Pesach. This should be super obvious, but if you don't put these two pictures together, you miss a lot of the, the meaning of it. You know, God's given us two eyes, and if you just look with one eye, you only see one dimension. When you see two eyes, you see three-dimensional. So I just want us to take the Passover story and the death and resurrection of Yeshua story and put them together, and I believe it's going to open up for you. Let's just start with the obvious, that it was at the time of the Passover that Yeshua came and he was crucified and resurrected. This is the meaning in both directions. When our people eat the Passover, where do we get redemption? Where do we get salvation? Where is the blood on the doorpost today? How do we, how do we get forgiveness of sins? What, what does it bring about? And this all comes in Yeshua during the Passover time to be the real, He is the Passover lamb. And that's all it's saying in the new covenant, Yeshua is the Passover lamb. Well, do you want Yeshua without being the Passover lamb? Do you want a Passover lamb without Yeshua? Let's just put the two together. At this time, God makes a covenant with the people of Israel for their salvation. Yeshua, the Messiah, the son of David comes. He dies as the Passover lamb and is raised from the dead. And then through that, eternal life and salvation is spread to the rest of the world for anyone who believes. And we want to invite you to receive the beautiful spiritual redemption there is in both the crucifixion and in the resurrection. What do we get from the crucifixion? That is an atonement. It means we have all sinned, we deserve punishment, and Yeshua is willing to take punishment on himself so that God could freely forgive us. And the resurrection, why is that important? Obviously, because everyone dies. And this is the hope of eternal life. If we don't have the resurrection of Yeshua, then everyone is doomed. There's no hope. But with the crucifixion, crucifixion and the resurrection, these two great problems, sin and death, are solved. We have forgiveness of sins from the crucifixion and the solution to death through the resurrection. One last thought I want to leave you with. This happened, and the pattern, it happened at the same time. Think about this. Yeshua was crucified on the day that the Passover lamb was killed and eaten by the Jewish people. And then the Jewish people came out, went into the Red Sea, and on that morning, early morning, right before sunrise, they came up out of the Red Sea right at the same moment that Yeshua came up from the grave. Those two events, the Passover and the death and resurrection of Yeshua, are the same event. They took place at the same time. And amazing enough, last thought, it was the same person. Because it wasn't Moses who led the children of Israel out. It was the angel Jehovah. He was there. This figure of God in the form of a man, an angel. He was the one that led them out. And he was the one that then appeared in the Passover. The Passover and the death and resurrection of Yeshua go together. And when you see those two, woo, everything in the kingdom of God begins to open up for you. So God bless you as we celebrate this Passover season and in the center of it, the crucifixion and resurrection of Yeshua.